As we all know, if you increase your rifle's weight, you're gonna reduce its recoil, but in this video, we're gonna put some numbers to it. Hey guys, Gavin Gear here from ultimatereloader.com. One of the things I love to do is to take different rifle or other shooting sports related phenomena that people might have opinions about, a gut sense of, and just generally know truths about, and to actually put numbers to those different gut instincts or insights. So what I wanted to do, recently I was just thinking about a typical PRS rifle and how people add weights to the rifle. You can feel that there's less recoil, but how much less, right? I wanted to use our recoil rig to quantify that. So I took this rifle, this is the Ultradyne UD7. Just as a reminder, Ultradyne has three different permutations or different configurations for their UD line of chassis systems. UD3 has three M-Lock slots along the side. UD5 has five M-Lock slots. And UD7, you guessed it, seven M-Lock slots. And we've done stories with all of those different configurations. This was the first that we ever had in the shop. And I did this custom Cerakote job on it. We had a lot of fun. We've shot it in multiple stories. Now I have a lot of weights from Ultradyne, so I thought this would be a great candidate for this testing. I decided this time to put our Bergara 6GT full barreled action. We have a, a full video on that topic. Lots of different offerings now and bear actions as well if you want to have a barrel spun up, that kind of thing. And so 6GT I thought would be a good kind of all around PRS cartridge. But to keep recoil forces higher, I decided to just use the bare muzzle, no suppressor, and no brake. I had some ammunition loaded with Berger 109 hybrids and Alpha Munitions cases, near max load. I thought this is a good kind of all-rounder middle recoil scenario for a PRS type configuration. So the base configuration, no butt stock weight and no side M-lock weights. 13.97 pounds. That's just the barrel action, the scope, the chassis, the magazine, and one round of ammunition. I wanted to get the weight of the entire rifle as it sits in the recoil rig. I added the two pound buttstock weight and that took the weight up to 15.94 pounds. Then I added the six M-lock weights and that took the total weight up to 18.95 pounds. That's pretty heavy, but PRS rifles can get up towards 30 pounds. And so, <laughs> you know, I felt like you know, that might be something that you're going to want to consider if you're even more sensitive to movement, doing positional shooting or shooting a heavier cartridge, that sort of thing. So with three different weight configurations, that meant three different tests on the Ultimate Reloader recoil rig. A little bit about this rig. This was based initially off of a design that Cal Zant from the Precision Rifle blog had put together. And we've kind of upgraded our hardware over time. We now have the Duasoft Sirius 8-channel DAC system that can sample at 200,000 samples per second. This rig is really all about isolating rearward forces. It's not about the rifle movement. It's not about the acceleration. It's not a good analog to the human body. But what it does do is it captures basically results that are relative to each other and where you can quantify the performance of a particular brake, a particular suppressor, or other factors like the mass of the rifle. We're using a PCB, piezo electronics load cell, and this has proven to give very, very repeatable, very accurate results. So I took the rifle, the recoil rig setup, and the ammunition up to our mid-mountain range where we have a concrete slab, set it up, and got the rifle configured with no extra weights. Then I captured the first shot. So after recording the first shot, I added the two pound buttstock weight and took the second shot. After the second shot was recorded, I took the rifle back to the bench. Then I added the six M-lock weights and took the third shot. So you can see here from the Duasoft X, that's the Duasoft app live display, we've got very nice clean recoil curves. And before I started recording, I took a couple test shots with no weights 
and the two peak force calculations were within one pound of each other. So very, very clean, very consistent data. The rifle with no weights started out at 13.97 pounds, and that corresponded to a peak recoil force of 798.7 pounds for a very, very infinitesimally short period of time. And keep in mind, if we threw an Apollo Max or an Apollo LR on here, we'd see recoil forces cut by probably 40% just from the break alone. Okay, so with the two pound buttstock weight was 15.94 pounds, about 16 pounds. And so that took the peak recoil forces down to 719.3. To go from 798 to 719, that is a big difference. You're gonna feel that in the shoulder quite a bit. Okay, and then when we added the six M-lock weights, total rifle weight went up to 18.95 pounds. And that took peak recoil forces down to 647.8. So from our starting configuration to our final configuration, we saw about a 20% reduction in peak forces. Okay, numbers are fine and good, but it's usually helpful to see a picture. So here on the left, we have the peak force versus rifle weight. And what's interesting here is this is the, the total scale for the force, right? And you can see it go down, it doesn't look super exciting. And if we zoom into that 600 to 850 pound range on the y-axis for force, you can see the nature of the reduction in forces a little bit more clearly. Uh, and what's helpful to compare against would be kind of a theoretical model, where if you double the weight of the rifle, the recoil forces would be cut in half kind of like an F equals MA type of, of model. And so that ends up being a curve. You can see here a hypothetical curve that I did in Excel. So if it's 600 pounds peak force at five pound rifle weight, this is, I don't know, maybe like a 223 with a break on it or something like that. You know, if, if we went down up to 10 pounds, we're down at the 300 pound level, right? And so I fit the curve with an equation and if we zoom in, we see a section of the curve that looks a bit like the results that we observed. So interesting to see the theoretical math and the actual measured phenomena lining up to some extent. And you know, the exact equation, definitely different. I did a little bit of a curve fitting there and found a similar power function being the best uh, fit curve to that actual recorded data. Okay, so conclusions. Increasing mass does reduce recoil. I think we all knew that from the start. But here's a practical piece of information. Adding five pounds to a PRS rifle could reduce your recoil by about 20%. That's just good to know. And when you take that 20% off the top, that is definitely very noticeable. The recoil peak force roughly follows the hypothetical curve of doubling mass and having the forces, cutting the forces in half, and less force translates to less acceleration, and that means the rifle moves less. And this is why people really focus on recoil dynamics when it comes to shooting, is you don't want the scope taken off target. You don't want the rifle to move when you're shooting in a positional situation. So I hope this has been insightful. It was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, if I do this test again, I might go a little bit more extreme with the minimum and maximum weights and possibly throw more data points in the mix to see if our actual curve does approximate that hypothetical curve that I calculated. Here's what I'd like to know is what do you think about your rifle and its mass? Like how do you approach how heavy uh, to make your gun? Now this would be more for a prone ELR shooting, PRS, positional shooting, maybe even NRL 22. People definitely obsess about the weight of those rifles, even though the recoil is minutia compared to a, a bigger center fire rifle. Drop a comment and let's discuss in the comments section. If you're interested in the Ultradyne chassis and the weights, if you click on that first link in the video description, it will take you over to our article, which will take you over to those product pages. Thank you very much for watching. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're watching Ultimate Realtor on TV and want to take advantage of free resources, exclusives, and hot deals, just hold your camera phone up to the QR code, tap on the link, fill out the information, boom, you're getting Ultimate Reloader emails. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, we're on Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, where we've got unrestricted content, and Instagram. Make sure to follow us on all those channels. Ultimate Reloader also has a commercial solutions division serving law enforcement, the military, and the gun industry. We have some unique capabilities, including a comprehensive suite of recoil testing and evaluation capabilities, trigger profiling, and more. Thanks again for watching.